recording in progress guys okay here we are here we are we finally made it thank you very much erin and kevin from the podcast that wouldn't die absolutely uh, thank you how are things going guys <laughs> we're doing all right i mean there aren't Saturday. naked protesters outside our house or anything but other than that <laughs> I know, right? Like it's it's hard to tell. Like it's it's funny how um, we were we, we scheduled this uh, meeting like for uh, uh, an hour and a half ago, but protests were in Ottawa. I wasn't expecting the the convoy, the the thunder, whatever it's called. Uh, I, I need to post it in a in a while. It's so funny. Like it, I, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, roads were closed uh traffic everywhere it was so hard and i'm assuming the guy that you have behind you erin is peewee herman that is correct <laughs> i got that in college that tells you how old i am <laughs> to be clear it's the doll not the man <laughs> uh, oh okay that yeah that's cool that's cool and, <laughs> yeah. and, 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 and hopefully yeah hopefully it's not i was uh asking you guys a while ago like we i thought i thought you guys were husband and wife so now now i know you guys are siblings so <laughs> that, that, that's a fun fact i uh, yeah. like I, I i wasn't expecting that neither <laughs> so yeah. very, very surprising day huh who's who's older <laughs> <laughs> we're 10 Aaron is 10 years, years older than me i get this all the time because I, I saying, have all my hair, I think is what the right. issue is. Right, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. I always tell the story. I was sitting down for lunch with my older brother, who's also almost ten years older than me. And the waitress goes, "Oh, who's older?" And I'm just like, "You son of a." <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Kevin is the middle child, but yes. we have an odd number of kids, so he's kind of the middle child. It's like my parents had this burst with four kids, took a little break, had Kevin. And then at the last minute, decided to roll the dice and had twins. Oh, yeah. wow. So, so the first four are like bing, bing, bing. And then there's like a five-year gap. And then Kevin, then like another five-year gap. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> that's well, how we that, do it. That, and, and that sounds really fun. And, and, and what, <laughs> one, thing I can, one thing I can notice is that, that well, I, I'm pretty sure like that, well, I see the gap, but... It's not that huge. My the gap between me and the, my brother next to me is 15 years, so there's a generation there. Like it's it's not like it's hard. Like the the, the music is different. The 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 movies are different. The likes are different. Like the the tastes. Like it's so oh, different. Everything. Yeah. Hundred percent. Well, that's the gap between me and the youngest. Oh they were wow. Born when I was in high school. So like. Some of one of my sisters like wouldn't hold the twins because she didn't want people to think that they were theirs in public. She'd be like, I'm, "Don't give me the babies." That's not true. Is that true? Tara, Tara, yeah, she wouldn't hold the bait. Mom always tells the story. She wouldn't hold the babies at the grocery store. She didn't want anyone to think they were hers. When she was twelve. Oh wow! Ridiculous. <laughs> Okay. And how, how, how did you guys start like with this love uh, for the movies? Like, because you guys got a lot of movies that I am like, oh my God, I, I've never seen it. <laughs> and that's like 60 to 70% of the time. It's like, I need to, I need to hear, I need to listen to this <laughs> because you guys make the reviews and I, and, and you tell the story and, and I'm like, okay, let, let's see if I want to, if I, I want to <laughs> take, if I want to take a look at the movie or not. <laughs> <laughs> we rolled the dice yeah i always tell the story that we were like fearful children or frightened of everything and i think uh over time it just kind of we decided to like toughen ourselves up you know <laughs> either that I, I tell a story that like when zombies zombies used to really freak me out and and they used to freak <laughs> kevin out and my parent we grew up in the desert in like a 50s house where it was just a lot of sliding glass doors. There was just glass everywhere. We were never going to be able to fortify that house if the zombies come. So our, our, literally, I think this is how we fell into it. We had a discussion that you're either going to just have to sit on the roof and wait it out or just lay down because there's not enough wood to, to fortify my parents' house. 
just like no. in in Dawn of the Dead. I remember exactly. that uh, uh, people in the rooftop and it's playing golf <laughs> with the with the guy <laughs> in, in the in the building in the front in the in the front building. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I think it's also like growing up in the 80s that was the dawn of hbo and the movie channel yeah. it was also the dawn of like going to the video store and grabbing a, grabbing a couple of vhs tapes so we were swept up and frankly let's be honest the finest era of cinema is the 80s i think we can all agree on that yeah Not that's sure. true that's true that's true I, 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 lovely movies in the 80s <laughs> <laughs> oh guys and you guys are okay you guys are in california but uh where exactly in los angeles or uh, i'm in central california i'm in bakersfield so mm, okay she's a, a lovely egg bakersfield and oil. egg and oil <laughs> it's like if you saw there will be blood there will that's be where blood. she is that's where she's at i am in orange county i'm in irvine which is like mm. i don't know like uh 45 minutes south of los angeles Lovely okay. Orange County. So sounds pretty fun. So you 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 walk the Hall of Fame every once in a while. <laughs> that that is exactly correct. Oh yes. <laughs> nice, nice guys. Well, thank you. I I, I want to thank you because uh, again, it was so hard to 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 be here. Um, I know well. The schedules were tight. It was like, and there, there's a three hour difference between you guys and me because I live in Ottawa. So I'm in Eastern time. You guys are in Pacific time. Mm. So it was, it was like not easy to coordinate and not easy to get here because I was in that freaking traffic a while ago, but uh, we made it. We made it. So now we made well, it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can we talk okay. about how in the 70s convoys were kind of a fun thing? Oh, really? <laughs> was it? There was like a movie and a song, uh, because I remember the '70s. So <laughs> there was like whole movies, like like uh, truckers were the real rebels, and you know, Smokey the and the Bandit. Smokey and the Bandit. <laughs> the man was, and the government was always trying to suppress the the white collar or blue collar dude. Oh yeah, it was a thing. everybody wanted to be a long haul trucker in the '70s. Oh, oh really? Have a CB. <laughs> that may be oversimplification but in the movies it appeared that everybody was into trucking who knows what the case really was so yeah good times i'm thinking meth and prostitutes that's what <laughs> i think of when i think of long haul trucking <laughs> Probably, probably, yeah. It, it's funny <laughs> because it's like a, a lot of trucks out there, mostly like, yeah, truckers, uh, people. Uh, and this this one, this weekend was with motorcycles. So Harley Davidson's and- Not and, surprising and, that they would be of the same mindset. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, at least they're protesting in my community after the first week of lockdown, they just decided to just ignore whatever <laughs> restrictions. <laughs> so I had to just hide in my house and like make a list of restaurants I was never gonna go to again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's exactly yeah like, it's so funny like uh, it's like i i understand the freedom to to protests and and stuff but well it's it's about the it's it's about the mindset i guess well well yeah. <laughs> well it sucks uh, when you're stuck in traffic though i was <laughs> i was i was stuck in traffic i was pissed off yeah you're uh, less sympathetic <laughs> aren't you now <laughs> now i feel better my, my wife was telling me, she was telling me, your face changed from hell to heaven. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yes, now I, I, I'm, and I'm glad that you guys made it as well, because uh, uh, it would it would have been unfortunate to lose this opportunity to, to, to talk to you guys. I really wanted to do this. <laughs> and thank no, thank you. Thank you, guys. And yeah and here we are here we are just uh combining uh uh two things that i love music and movies like, th those are my my two greatest uh loves i i i love watching movies like uh maybe we're curious about we, we don't get stuck in a specific gender like we like drama comedy uh, horror my hate my 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 wife hates uh 
zombie movies, but I love zombie movies. I love them. Uh, I grew up with uh, The Return of the Living Dead. And, oh, Dynamite. Uh, <laughs> love it. That's Kevin's favorite. Yeah, yeah. So, so I... I'm a I'm a zombie fan and and I used to watch um uh, The Walking Dead. I I watched mm. the first ten seasons and I got stuck there because my wife got bored and and I <laughs> and I was like no I need to I need to finalize it. It's just one season left <laughs> and no we got stuck. But I, dro uh, I dropped as soon as they beat Glenn to death. I was like that's it. I'm out. I can't. I can't watch it anymore. A lot of my friends did the same. Like yeah. they said, "My God, how could they do that?" It was like that oh. was, and I think that was the top, like yeah, the top episode, the, the one with the highest rating. Right. That, yeah. Oh, so fun. And there's and, two spinoffs from that show. Did you know that two spinoffs? I remember uh, Fear Fear the Walking Dead was one of them. And Very cleverly titled Fear the Walking Dead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> create creativity, <laughs> outstanding creativity there. And and there was I don't remember the other one. What was it? Was it was Don't Don't Fear the Walking Dead. <laughs> <laughs> It was it was something called like Walking Dead, Worlds Apart, or Another oh. World, or something. I I don't know anything That's about. That's an it. old American soap opera, old right. like zombie soap opera. It writes yes. itself. Why it was called Walking Dead as the World Turns. Yeah. If I remember correctly. And, the, and they they do that all the time. Like when there's success on something, they keep creating and creating and creating, and then you get bored. And yeah. and that's uh, and I think they're they're planning uh, a movie. They're planning a series about Daryl. Uh, uh, I could be down with the Daryl series. <laughs> I could be down for that. <laughs> Why do they do that? Like they so like. <laughs> They they keep creating and creating and creating. It, it's unstoppable, like Mar like yeah. Marvel movies. Right. <laughs> my my wife was uh, after uh, Endgame, uh, Avengers Endgame. She was like, "That's it. That here we stop here. Like that's the end." <laughs> Until and and then she she saw the 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 trailer of Spider Man and and. <laughs> And and then I was like, "Are you sure you want to stop here?" <laughs> she was like, "Okay, <laughs> let's give it a try." But we're not gonna watch series, so we didn't watch One Division. We didn't watch like any like any of the series, uh, like the Disney series related right. to Marvel. We didn't like we haven't watched any. But I was telling her, I'm pretty sure like if 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 we don't see at least a summary or a, one of those YouTube videos where they summarize the whole thing. Uh, we're gonna get lost at a point because you will yes you have to like there's so much minutia now yeah <laughs> like, you, like they expect you have watched all those tv series to know what's going on when you walk into those movies now it's it's a lot it's like you have to go back and read all the comic books for 50 years <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's it's hard it's hard and i got really committed into that because it's uh, I, I really loved or I, I still love marvel uh like all the comics and and stuff as well but but they they keep creating and they keep uh, bringing things and there's a knight rider or knight uh, i don't know uh, another superhero will come up soon and and i was like oh my god this is this is probably too much but okay uh, anyway like that's money <laughs> just like Karen was saying it's, it's it's all about the money and as yeah. long as it monetizes really well it, they're gonna keep doing it so it's gonna we're gonna die and 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 they're gonna keep and and, and spider-man will keep being a thing and and well i haven't watched the batman either uh i i need to watch it but yeah that's more or less how we handle life. I move my life between work, uh, movies, uh, music, and podcasts. Um, that's that's bare, that's mostly my my routine, um, Sunday to Sunday. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And well, and and I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna talk a little bit about your favorite music or your favorite songs your favorite soundtracks that's what we're gonna talk about today oh yeah so yeah and 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 this was very interesting because uh, i normally know beforehand what's gonna be the the songs 
but here I, I didn't. So I, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious to see what you guys have. Kevin and, and I didn't share either, so I no. don't know what he has. I'm oh, sure nice. everything he has, but I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just putting that out there now. Well, I've, who knows? Maybe that's going to make uh, Kevin's list. Like it's a couple songs that you have, it's going to probably make Kevin's list or vice versa. I don't know. That's going to be fun. Absolutely. <laughs> and I well, tried I mean, to mix it up. I tried to make sure like some were like musicals, some were like compilations and some were like, you know, just, you know, ambient music kind of <laughs> ambient music traffic. Um, what I, all I did literally was just go look at the soundtracks and just count how many songs I like from the soundtrack and then ordered, like picked my top 10 and then ordered them from 10 to one. Oh. Um, so there were, there are soundtracks that I, that I love, but I'm just like, well, like, uh, for example, the theme to Shaft. I love that theme, but it's, that's the one song. That's all it is. That's it's like, you, I can't, I can't put that on the list if it's just one like James Bond or Indiana Jones or Star Wars. If it's just one song, I couldn't put it on the list. That, that happens. That happens every once in a while. Uh, and sometimes you remember the movie because of the song. Sometimes the movie is, is so bad, but the soundtrack is so good. Right. <laughs> uh, I think that happened to me with Mission Impossible 2, I guess, where the, 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 the soundtrack was really good, but the movie mm -hmm. uh, more or less. Um, yeah, there, there are a few. There are a few. But yeah, let's do this. Let's do this, guys. So who wants to start? Are we going to do popcorn and just share one or what do you want to do? Let's do, uh, let's do one and one. Let's do uh, first, let's do the first of Erin and then the first of Kevin and then, uh, and, and, and yeah, I will, we'll, we'll and just. you have a list, right? I don't have a list, but Whoa! I can. <laughs> but I can tell you for sure if, uh, uh, if the ones that you have make, my list like would would make my list if i if i had one uh, and the reason why is because uh i normally think about the songs and when i make the list there's always one that i leave behind there's always one that i have to leave out and i'm like no not fair i want to i want to i want to keep this one for example i'm gonna tell you this um, one of the songs that I like the most, and they're going to laugh. Um, one of the songs that I like the most uh, is My Heart Will Go On, Celine Dion. And the reason why <laughs> is because, <laughs> and the reason why is because I, uh, part of, the, of, of my process of learning English was because of that song. Like uh, I, I learned that song by heart and, and I was like kind of, uh, understanding what the song wanted to say and the love that I had and my love for English as a language kind of um it, it didn't start there but it, it it's kept me in the right direction so I have a special feeling for that oh, song of but, <laughs> but and of Canada course. as well and Celine Dion Celine Dion is from Canada <laughs> so national treasure no, no surprises here <laughs> <laughs> That's funny you say that when I was learning Italian, it was Andrea Bocelli Conte Partiro. Oh, wow. So then you gotta, yeah, you, you pick a song because songs are harder because you have to really listen to because they stretch the words out or clip it. Exactly, exactly. No, and it's, it, it wasn't easy, but uh, this song made, made it very easy because it's so easy to listen. It's so easy to understand. And, and yeah, it's, it, it made me love the language. So I have a special feeling for, for that song. And, and well, of course that's Titanic's like Absolutely. Uh, greatest, Lovely. greatest uh, song. So uh, I yeah. I have to tell you a, a quick non secular, sec, bleh, I can't speak. <laughs> I was on, I'm on, I was on Tinder and, uh, <laughs> one of my questions are like, what are your top movies? And somebody argued with me that uh, Titanic was the greatest movie ever. And I had to unmatch with him. Yeah, you had, yeah, yeah, <laughs> next, next. <laughs> I was like, what? Are you, I, I, it was like, are you just saying that to impress me? Cause it ain't, unmatch. <laughs> 
Yeah, around the second hour, I was like, where's that damn iceberg? Is what I kept saying. <laughs> it's a nice song. Yeah, the song, yeah, the song is, is a thing. But yeah, I agree. And then it's like a three-hour movie, two, two hours and a half oh. movie. It's so long. And I was at some points of the movie, you're like, oh my God, I feel like I can go uh, to the kitchen, prepare dinner and come back and nothing has happened. You're not going to miss anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, uh, that's why. But but I can tell you if if that if the songs you pick make my list. Right. Um, so who wants to start, Erin or Kevin? Aaron, why don't you start with your number 10 and then I'll do my number 10. Oh, I didn't oh, okay. rank mine. I didn't you rank have to mine. rank them. This I is just a top 10. 10. <laughs> oh, biscuit. And now I have 11 because all of a sudden I, uh, uh, something just popped into my head. That's okay, do you want me happened. to start and then you can... I'll start and you can put your list. What, Aaron, all what right. the hell? I will, okay. Out of my 11, uh, I, I do in fact have the Star Wars theme. Because Ooh. literally, I have the album. People would buy that album and listen to it. It turned on a lot of people to that kind of style, that kind of classical style music. It was the John iconic. Williams. The John Williams. Mm -hmm. It was classic. And it's all original score. I mean, people love that. They did sp disco spinoffs of it. Uh, I mean... It, it changed a lot of kind of disco. There was all this class. Remember, there was the fifth of Beethoven was in Saturday Night Fever. Suddenly, people had a bigger interest. So I think it was uh, impactful. And I have the album. So how about that? Boom. Wow. By an L. <laughs> By an L. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's 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 great. Like, um, well, Star Wars theme. That's that's. Yeah, that, I, of course. That, that that's a classic, right? Like you, right. you hear you hear it, and you immediately go to Star Wars. Like it's boom. It's, you know yeah. exactly what it's da 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 da. You know what it is. And that did kind of kick off that whole John Williams thing. I mean, he did that. He did Superman. He did Indiana Jones. It was like yeah. boom, 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 right after one, right after the other. Right. Yeah, I hear that successful guy huh absolutely because all, all instrumental songs but yeah. uh he like they were catchy like they, j j even though they were instrumental like you you recognize you identify the the movie right from the, at the first five seconds to play it you know the, the movie that's i think that's a hit for for the guy for general i mean yeah mm -hmm. it's so it's great no question yeah, I tried to add a bunch of things where I've actually owned them. So I own Star Wars. Good for you. I mean, I got it last year. I don't know if that <laughs> is a ding against me. A state sale, one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> that is a little different, I think. <laughs> How many um, movies are there? Are there like eight movies, seven movies? In, in my mind, there are three. Three? <laughs> three? There, oh my gosh. In your guess. <laughs> there are... 11 is that what? right yes because you got the first three then you got the prequel three then you get the new three. Oh well yeah but and, then and... you also got uh rogue one and you got solo oh true true and then you have uh and and well the mandalorian is mandalorian part, and book is of the... boba fett <laughs> is, that book of, is that like oh no i can't even i'm gonna start riffing for hours just talking about star wars <laughs> I often forget about the next three, but really, it's the first three. It's the first two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right. a cool one. <laughs> All right, big talker, what you got? Okay, um, my number 10, this is kind of, you know, building on what we were talking about, kind of a, a time in my life where I look back on with fondness. When I was a kid in the late 80s, uh, my parents would take the three younger kids on like family trips or whatever. They'd already the kick the old children. ones out. The, the preferred, preferred the children. Old family, and then there was the new family, and Kevin was part of the newer that family. That is correct. <laughs> um, there were two soundtracks they played constantly in the old Lincoln. 
And it, the the one that's not on the list was the Working Girl soundtrack oh. uh, with Carly <laughs> Simon singing "Let the River Run," and Let we we constantly the river run. we constantly <laughs> tease my little brother who was still learning not to go to the bathroom in his bed at night. Uh, so we constantly say, oh, "Bro, God. did you let the river run?" He <laughs> hopefully he doesn't listen to this episode. He was young. I mean, he was, it was with, still within a respectable uh, time. I mean, this wasn't him at, you know, 25, bro. What's the problem? It wasn't serial killer level bedwetting. He wasn't no. like 17. It, it was not. It wasn't the loneliest runner with Michael Landon. <laughs> oh, uh, no. Um, the other soundtrack, no one even knows what the hell I'm talking about. I know Google the talking. loneliest runner and you'll find out what we're talking about. Anyway, uh, the other soundtrack was the Dirty Dancing. Oh my trailer. God, my parents love that. So, which, it, when you go back, it's a lot of stuff from like that early 60s, late 50s kind of period, which I, I mean, you know, I'm a kid of the 80s. Initially, you're kind of resistant, but it kind of works its way into your psyche. So I really appreciate the Dirty Down Dancing soundtrack. Not to mention, you've got the Patrick Swayze classic, She's Like the Wind. She's Like the Wind. <laughs> She's like the wind. Oh my God, that's another song. Yeah, my I tree. remember there, I, there, there was a, a, a collection of uh, like, yeah, a collection of albums called something like Romantic Ballads or Ballads or, or whatever, Monster Ballads. Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah. and, and, and this song, uh, she's, like the, she's Like the Wind. Um, okay. Hang on, running out of time. No. Yeah, I saw that most of your podcasts are 38 <laughs> minutes. This is going to be a solid 90, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. If we if it cuts, we come back. We come okay. back. Okay. Um. Now I'm not stuck in traffic anymore, so I yeah. it just it would it would be immediate. Um. And and I remember this song. This song was part of the of the of the greatest. Uh, songs and I started to like English because of these kind of songs, mm -hmm. but I didn't understand what they meant, and I was so little to 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 jump in and into that curiosity. But but I like them, like the the flow, and it, she's like the wind. And I remember, oh, there were too many. Poison had one. Like, Every rose has its thorn. Every rose has yeah. its thorn. Uh, Absolutely. <laughs> It did, there were quite a few. Uh, the, um, I I don't I don't have them right at the top of my head, mm -hmm. but but I remember there were a lot of songs like there were uh, um, "Broken Wings" by Mister Mister. Yeah, there, there were a lot of songs. You're like, speaking uh, my language, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you better burn a, a copy of that for uh, K, K Dog there. <laughs> Monster ballads. Monster Ballads, yeah. I have yeah. that too. That was good. <laughs> Dirty Dancing, wow, nice one. And I think uh, Jennifer Lopez did a, made a video uh, that was early 2000, roughly 2004 or something. And she was trying to do the Dirty Dancing thing in, in front of a, a, a bunch of people and stuff. Dirty Dancing, that's a, a, a classic. That's a um, cult movie right there. absolutely it's it's really i mean it's it's great i mean i i mean i'm not somebody you might to, you know think of as uh enjoying dirty dancing but it really is an iconic film so much so that at the time other people tried to cash in on the dirty dancing kind of thing and they released those lombata movies i don't know if you guys remember those the yeah, forbidden yeah, yeah, yeah. dance the forbidden dance, forbidden dance. <laughs> lombata oh my god <laughs> Not nearly so iconic. Let me just say that. <laughs> no, 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 not nearly. <laughs> One hit wonder there, uh, the lambada. <laughs> that's so cool. That's so yeah. No, dirty dancing, of course. That that that's that one would would have made my list if I if I had to 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 pick a, a set of songs. That one would be part of the of of my list, and because of that, because of that love for um, ballads that I that I had when I was a kid and made me jump in the English world. So yeah, that's very interesting. So those, but those were 
uh, number 10 and number nine, or just that was number 10 and 10? 10. 10 and 10. Okay. So, Aaron, what's your number nine? <laughs> Saturday Night Fever. Oh, my God. On my list, but Boom! much higher. Boom! <laughs> Saturday Night Fever. And I own the album until one of me, my, one of our younger sisters, who's a little punker, a bunch of kids came over and had a rager when my parents were out of town and spray painted the walls and like broke my Saturday Night Fever album. Oh but, no! But those BG songs were written for this album. Yes. They just knocked it out. And of course, they kicked it out of the stadium. It's uh, uh they made beautiful hits here. Uh, uh, actually, uh, well, John Travolta, the way he he moved and all this, uh, it, it, he he was another thing. Right now, it's not, obviously well, we're talking about sixty-year-old uh, John Travolta, so it's obviously not gonna. <laughs> he happen. used to be kind of cool back in seventy-seven, <laughs> yeah. but his character was dumb as an old stick, so that was a bit of a turn off. What? Why are you always touching my hair, Ma? My hair! <laughs> Tony Monero! Look, okay, the movie, say what you want about the movie. The movie stunk. <laughs> it dealt with serious issues. Let's just say that. Yes. Uh, angry, not nearly as anything. Angry priests and abortions. Okay. Yes. Yeah, gang rape. There's a lot of things that they're dealing with uh, in <laughs> Saturday Night Fever. But you've got all the Bee Gees hits, but you also got like, Disco Inferno, burn, you baby, know, burn. that's what I'm talking about. You've got mm. uh, all, uh, I mean, it is, it is a dynamite. There's at least 10 songs on that album. Oh yeah. That's that are great. One of those movies where the soundtrack is probably greater than the movie. hundred percent. Really, oh, absolutely. It's, it's low on my ranking just because it's a very obvious choice, I think. <laughs> but of I course. Mean, it's like throwing Prince's Purple Rain up there. It's like, of course, you're going to put that down. Kevin, did I just... Why are you, are you sniping all my picks? Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. <laughs> what the... Son of a... <laughs> uh, <laughs> number nine for me. This, was kind of, this might shock some people. All right. The Deadpool soundtrack had oh. like i went and listened to it. it has a bunch of hits that i love yeah, it's got george michael george michael it's got careless whisper yep. by wham they really <laughs> earned the exclamation point on that album <laughs> um, you're the inspiration by chicago yeah. yes. and juice newton's angel of the morning yes just yes. call me angel dynamite the morning. Yep. huge 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 soundtrack and beautiful and, and 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 I think it's uh, probably underrated, like uh, not not underrated, underestimated. Like it's if if you if you pay attention to the songs in that movie, you just say, oh wow, what a great soundtrack. But just because the movie is also good, probably uh, the the soundtrack is a little bit set aside. But uh, lovely soundtrack, lovely Absolutely. soundtrack. Well, they go together. Like, you know, the way they use the, the music in the movie. I mean, I love Deadpool. It, it's not Lawrence of Arabia or something, but the way they use the music with the scenes, it really adds something to the film. So I appreciated that oh, as well. The first Deadpool was a delight. And, you know, delight. I don't go in. My son had to drag me because I don't go in for any of the superhero stuff. I was a Batman until it got so dark I wanted to kill myself. Uh, but so I went to see Deadpool and, I, and it was delightful. Yeah, yeah, it was it was really nice. It's it, it was a refreshing character. It's, it's 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 a superhero, but it's kind of stupid at the same time. So it's... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so much fun. So much fun. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah, that's a good wow. Deadpool soundtrack. I I. I didn't I, even think of that. No, I didn't think about that neither, but that's a great choice. That's a good one. Yeah. I briefly considered Guardians of the Galaxy, but then I figured Kevin would have scooped one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. God, mother. <laughs> what so do you have I, for eight? I'm sure you don't have this, but I put Disney's Aladdin. Lovely. Oh my God. Oh my God. It is so fantastic. It was like right at the edge when they went from Aladdin is very like, like theater theatrical. And then mm. right after that, they just went for pop songs to make more money. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Aladdin and Robin Williams. It's amazing. I was just listening to it. I was yelling at Alexa, Alexa, play Aladdin soundtrack. You can dun, see dun. the change from it starts like literally listen to the soundtrack for like Little Mermaid. And the next movie is Beauty and the Beast. And by Beauty and the Beast, you already start to see the change. And I think by Aladdin, it really crystallizes it. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? And then they made a left turn with Elton John, and it just became yep. pure pop because they could play it on the radio. Oh, right? yeah. And make but, more money. The Lion King, the, uh, uh, more or less by that time. That was the, the the time of the Lion King where with, yeah. with Elton John and, mm-hmm. and, Tim, and Rice. Tim Rice. Yes, Tim Rice. Yep. Disney's Aladdin. I wouldn't have thought about it. That's a cool one. A whole new world. Uh, that th- those kind of songs were like I was a well, by that point of time I wasn't that kid anymore, and I already like kind of understood what was going on with with the language, but. Uh, I, I yeah I loved Aladdin and I loved the the soundtrack. It's really cool. It well, you got totally Peebo cool. Bryson. Peebo Bryson, right? Peebo yeah. Bryson singing that, and Frank as a callback. Peebo Bryson is a ripoff because that was never played in the movie. That was one of those takeoffs. Yeah. No, they played it during the closing credits. Yeah. You got, oh well, you yeah. Got yeah. Peebo Bryson, and here's the thing: Peebo Bryson sang with the First Lady of Canada, Celine Dion, in <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. That's they true. sang the theme, a duet together. The so there we go. Canada. It, comes, it all comes back. <laughs> it all comes back to to me now, just like <laughs> Kelly. Oh my God. And, and just a little.